Oh, hi. This is Amy Chicken. And this is my pet monkey. Say hello, little monkey. Hello. I'm a little monkey. Let me show you a few things. This is a game controller. I use it for Amiga. It's a very, very good game controller. This too is a game controller. Is it for the PlayStation 3? And also for the RetroPie. Very nice. This is also a game controller. Or is this for the Nintendo Wii? It's okay. Now this... This is jank. Let's unjack this box. Hello everybody, this is another Pandora tutorial. We're gonna cover today game fixes, how to make meme configs. We're gonna make a little setup rig and also fix indie heat. Here are some of the games we're gonna cover in this multi part tutorial. Uh, this one, this one, this one. And whatever. Okay, so uh, we're first gonna set up by loading up uh, thenight.com. It's a very handy website. If you've not tried it yet, please check it out. Uh, we're gonna click the net uh, WinRAR and Notepad++. We assume you've already got Scraper installed from the Add Games tutorial. You can install what you want and then click the Get Your Ninite and then run the the executable that downloads. So save it and then clickety click. It'll do everything automatically. Yeah, we're good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scrape the ROMs that we have in our Pandori folder. My folder is, uh, we've got the Pandora, the Pandora testbed, forward slash. Um, we're gonna change it to the MAME 139. The ROMs that we're gonna cover are gonna be all MAME 139, because that's the only emulator in the Pandora box that we can actually change the config for. Com config for. Okay, um, yeah, just make sure it's got the video here. And then scrape it, scrape. Okay. So everything done. Get media's in the in the folder and we got the games list. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is load up command prompt cmd.exe. I like running as an administrator because we're all pro here. Alright, this is the folder we're gonna navigate to first. Run D colon enter and then we're going to go into the directory folder whatever it's called pandora testbed so our usb stick is i but first we need to go into the controls folder of the pandora testbed this is where pandori installed and we need to make sure that the games that we're going to make configs for are not in here okay so Indie Heat and Mortal Kombat's already been done for us, but we're going to start from scratch. Okay, so we're just going to remove them. Go into your ROMs folder, which run uh, 139. And then we need to pull the file names from here. Okay, I'm just going to paste in the ROMs and then mimic their names by creating a new text file. New text file. First one's going to be Gang Wars, so I'm going to do Gang Wars and change the TXT to CFG. Yep. And then I'm just going to go through each file name. Just going to cut paste. It's probably easier. And click twice slowly and you can rename the file. Indie Heat. 
copy and paste again. Etc. Etc. Just do the rest. Okay. Now I can get rid of the actual ROM files that are in this folder. We don't need them. If you could actually see the file extensions, what we need to do is uh, check out the file name extensions maybe at the top. And we need to go to uh, folder options down here and view. And where it says here, hide extensions for known types, we need to uncheck that. And then we'll see all the file extension types here. Okay. Okay, so from now on, what we're going to do is we're going to run Pandora into the USB stick. So we're just going to make some space here. Can remove them. Let's make a blank slate. And we're going to make a folder called games. So the Pandora installs the games to the USB stick. It's going to be like a little test bench. Okay, we're going to run uh, Pandora with the ROMs directory here. So add ROMs and then our USB stick. Oh, does not exist. Okay, give you a forward slash. There you go. Alrighty. Smiley. Okay, now we've got all the files already set up here. And there's nothing here in the games folder. That's fine. We can inject it. And we can now check how the games run. Okay, so first one we're going to do is Indie Heat, I think. Okay. Oh, we can control something. Coin in. Can't put a coin in here. Well, you can put a coin in to player one, but player two's not moving. Player three is moving. Yay! Woo! That's not that great if you think about it. So, can we play our one? Can we play a three too? But turbo is assigned to the same button. So we'll see if we can fix that. Okay, so we're gonna pop the USB stick into the computer and we're gonna play with the configuration files now. Okay, it looks like there are some files in the games folder now. But the thing is they're all encrypted. So if we try and open it, doop -doo 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 -doo, it's not gonna happen. Hey, check out this. Here's the MP4 file. Should be a movie, should be a video. Nope, can't do anything. It's encrypted. Can't even open the zip. Oh no. So we're just gonna delete the whole folder. All the contents out there, just delete. Don't delete one game at a time on the Windows machine. If you wanna do that, you can use the Pandora box to do so. Okay, the settings. Anyway, uh, MC Games, you will now have a CFG file here that we can uh, edit, we can change this. Should be blank. Look, edit with no blah 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 blah. And it's a completely blank file. It's a clean slate. We are, however, going to use MAME. I'm going to use from the mamedev.org site. On the top page, we have a 64 bit Windows version. If you've got 64 bits of Windows, you can use that. Otherwise, press on the old releases or previous releases, you can find the 32-bit version there too. Okay, so I've got a Ryzen Doofa, so I'm going to use this one. Downloading, downloading. Okay, I'm going to extract this to my my test, test bench folder thing, Pandora test bed. And I'll make a new folder called, I don't know, MAME64 maybe? Could be anything. Could be MAME. Could be ma MAME. MAME is Japanese word. It means bean. Also, you could say mummy. Mummy! Anyway, it's extracted now. 
And what we can do is we're gonna copy some ROMs into this folder here. MAME64, you see? There it is. Okay, we can run it, but we're not gonna load any games. So we're gonna copy some ROMs into this little ROMs folder here. So these are the ones I'm going to use from main 139. Copy. Mame64. Paste in the ROBS folder. Okay, and then we're going to run Mummy. Okay, this is the first screen you're going to get. It, I don't know, it brings out all the games, but you press on available and it'll show what you have available in your ROMs folder. Uh, you can press options, you can check out what you want to assign your things to. I think with racing games, we don't really need a trackball, light gun, we need a pedal, don't we? So we'll assign that to maybe a joy pad, is there, a joystick, that'll do. Uh, what, what's an ad stick? I don't know. Paddle? Nah. Dial? We do need for racing games. Uh, don't need anything else. Perhaps in the future we can uh, make some games use the light guns or a mouse, maybe? I don't know. Woo. Alright, let's load up Indie Heat. Forgot to say, it would be really handy if you have a USB controller or two. So I'm going to use them right now. I've got two Xboxy things ready. Okay. This is the game. What we're going to do is hit tab. That's the key like, two under the escape button. And we're going to go down all of these and press the delete button, del button, on your keyboard. Just go over each one and press del and down, del, del, del. Just essentially clear it. And then we're going to fill it with our joypad settings. Yay! So coin one, I'll have a uh, joystick one start. Do you start? All you gotta do is basically click each one of these. We'll press enter and then press the button on your joypad which you want to assign it to. So on the next box pad, I'm gonna press the A button and the B button. I think it's gonna be accelerate and turbo, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna. Joy one is accelerate. I think that uh, analog ink is the accelerator, and button one is turbo because you can see player two also has only button one available. So there's the dial, analog ink, and analog deck. These are for essentially the steering wheel, which is on the actual Indie Heat arcade unit. So player two, that button, the pedal is to go, the dial is rotating the wheel clockwise or anti-clockwise. I believe the wheel on the Indie Heat arcade box is a 360 degree wheel, so you can just keep spinning round. Ah, uh, coin three, mm, let's just try it first. Okay, so I'm going to press uh, tab again, and I'll give it a quick test. Looks like the buttons are working well. So I'm playing as player two first, which is the white player. Left and right functions well, and also the boost button works too. Let's try it with the red red car. Wee, woo! All right, works well here. Just gonna press escape, exit, and let's check 
this little folder here, CFG, which is in the main directory. Okay, look at this. We've got an indieheat.kufugu. Let's take a look what's in here. Wow. Alrighty, so I'm gonna copy and paste this to our little test bench in the USB stick. So I'm gonna MC Games, Indie Heat, and I'm gonna plop it in here. Replace. What we're gonna do is change this configuration and then uh, install it onto the Pandora. Once we've set it up. Okay, so here we've got like a little colon thing here, and an O, the port tags. A-N, I believe it means analog. Whereas I-N, I think it's more of a digital, like a button thing. So what we're gonna do is hit replace. And first we're just gonna get rid of the colons. So find what? It's colon. I don't think there's any other colon instances in the, in the whole file. So we can just check this out, see? Just replace all. I'll get rid of all the little colons. Colon, colon, colon. Coli? Oh, huh, okay. Let's check out the uh, coin. Alright, we'll copy and paste that into coin 3. That's player 3's coin, and uh, we'll give it a joy code of 3. And we'll do the same down here. Player 3 button. Let's copy player 2's button. Into player 3. Paste and change Joyco to three, which will be the third joystick, joypad, game controller. All right, we're also going to change out so we can control. Player three. Copy paste. Change to number three. And let's give player three an accelerator. Paste. Also going to try the service thing here. Um, usually it means coin. All right. And now we're going to find a n zero, and we're going to switch it all to i in zero. I believe if you have a wheel or something like that, you'll need an analog thing. Let's replace all of these. Replace AN2 to IN1. Okay, now we've pretty much set it up. Let's give it a go. So save. And we can now eject the USB stick. Make sure the game's folder's empty. Gotta do that every time, okay? Test time. All right, okay, so it's in the Pandora box and it's installing. Done. Okay, now these games are on the USB stick. We're gonna try out Indie Heat. How is the configuration? Let's try. Okay, so lefty righty is fine. Okay, that button's not working, but this one is. So, the second button is all right. Oh, what's going on here? What? This is only inserting coins to play one. That's okay to play one. <laughs> ah, and the joypad's working fine. So you guys, any ideas as to why play two isn't working? Guess now.
Okay, so if we check out our controller, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But on player two, our number seven is the pause button, so we can't use that. So let's go into our USB stick. Go down to the coins. Oh, we're gonna change these. There isn't actually a start button, so we can change it maybe to button eight for every player. There we go. How do you like that? Save. And let's try again. Okay, so go into the games folder, remove everything out of here. Same as we did before. Eject. Plop it in your box. Player one, player two. Hey, we're good. Okay, let's see how it is in game. Fully configured Indie Heat. First button accelerates, second button turbo. And we're done. So if you enjoyed, please subscribe, likey like, maybe join us for part three, four, and five when they're ready. Otherwise, you can check out the links below, join us on the Facebook or Discord. You could send us a coffee or two or three. And catch you later. Bye.